Hey guys, Dr. Shelley here. I want to talk to you about four ways to figure out what nutrients you might need. The first way is by your symptoms, okay? And this isn't always the best way, but it's a really good place to start. Certain symptoms that you experience might indicate that you are lacking a certain nutrient because nutrients are essential for every physiological process to happen in our bodies. So if a physiological process isn't happening, it might be because it's lacking that that one nutrient, or maybe, you know, maybe it's a vitamin, maybe it's a mineral, but if your body doesn't have it, it's not gonna be able to do what it needs to do. So sometimes going off symptoms is not a bad idea. You can go off maybe like the health of your nails, the health of your hair, you can go off whether or not you can digest certain foods and you can't digest other foods, um, whether or not you're sleeping well or your vision's not as good as it is. So there's certain nutrients that can help with each one of those symptoms. And once you take that nutrient and the symptom goes away, then you got it right. The second thing you can do is you can get some blood work done. And there's certain labs that you can run to see if your you know, vitamin and minerals are where they're where they're meant to be. Um, you can check for your, you know, see if you need fish oil, see if you have enough EPA or DHA in your body. Um, a, a common one that, that almost everybody gets when they go get normal blood work is their vitamin D levels because vitamin D deficiency is really, really easy to handle. Um, vitamin D deficiency actually, it actually causes so many symptoms and you know, it's a very inexpensive supplement to take and you know, it's very easy to do the blood work for it. So that's a common one a lot of people get, but you can also get blood work done for so many other nutrients too. And then you can start supplementing based on your lab results. The other way, which is similar to the blood work, um, is you can do a saliva test. And I don't generally recommend this, but there, but there are some good uh, saliva tests available that can measure hormones, it can measure some nutrients in your body. So there's, there's a lot of different ways um, as far as not having to draw blood, but still getting lab results. The fourth way, which is, this method is not as common as the ones I already mentioned, but you can actually get muscle tested. Um, muscle testing is a really interesting thing. I know that there's a lot of talk about it not being accurate, and I'm just gonna tell you from my clinical experience that it is very accurate. If you find a practitioner who's skilled in muscle testing, meaning they're gonna test the strength of your muscle um, to see if it's strong or weak, uh, when they put certain nutrients in your mouth or on your body, um, it can be a really effective tool and you don't have to get blood drawn. You don't have to go pay for a really expensive, um, you know, lab test of some sort. And you don't have to, you know, play the guessing game with your symptoms. You know, muscle testing can be a great tool. Um, pr practitioners that use a technique known as nutrition response testing are incredibly skilled at doing this. Um, I've been trained in nutrition response testing and I know people all over the country who, who do this. Um, sometimes people will call it applied kinesiology or AK and it's very similar too. So if, if you're interested in that, please reach out to me. Um, I'd be happy to point you in the direction of somebody who does this so that you can find out what nutrients your body might be lacking. So again, just to summarize, okay, the four ways that you can find out what your body needs nutritionally is you can look at, take a really close look at your symptoms, you can get blood work done, you can get a saliva test, or you can find a practitioner who does muscle testing. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, just leave them in the comments below. I will answer each and every one of them. And if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next video.